today we are going to be pickling jalapenos using a water bath canning method. For the brine we will use 3 cups white vinegar, 1 cup water, and 1 tablespoon pickling salt, which is optional. Now this is for 2 pints. My goal here is to make 4 pints, so I am going to double this. You want to start with some good, fresh jalapenos either from your garden or the grocery store is fine. Make sure that they have no signs of mold or anything on them. They're not mushy. Red jalapenos are fine. It just means that they're more ripe than the green. So either way, they work, they pickle just the same. And the red may even be a bit hotter. But I don't have a whole lot here. Probably enough just for maybe four pints or so. But it's more than we can eat fresh, so I wanted to go ahead and get them preserved your stock pot with water, bring it to a simmer so that it's ready to boil when you're ready to process We have them. our lids simmering in a small pan. Our brine is mixed up and coming to a simmer. It's not quite there yet. Now I am going to pack these in the jars as I slice them. And in case you're wondering, I do not have any kitchen gloves, so I use a Ziploc bag, which works pretty well. I'm just going to cut the stems off and I like to cut the end off as well and then we'll cut them in about quarter inch slices. Just like that. It is. Okay, now we're going to pour the brine over our pickles. Definitely made way too much brine. I like to do just a little bit at a time just to acclimate the jars since I didn't have them heated prior to packing them. This just eases them into having hot liquids. Okay. Now that our jars are packed, we want to release any air bubbles that might be in them. So we just gently work this around make sure that there's no air bubbles in there that need to come out. All right. Now, with the clean paper towel, we will just dry the lids, or the rims, I mean. Drying off the rims. Make sure that they are free of any food particles. You want them to be dry so that the lids get a nice seal. our handy magnetic lid lifter. We will lift up our lids out of our simmering water. I like to dry them real quick too. And then we place them on our jars. Put the rings on, just fingertip tight. You don't want to crank it on there. place our jars down into the simmering water. I'm probably going to have to add more. So the jars are in the water. We'll bring that up to a boil. Once it is boiling, we will set our timer for 10 minutes. Now that you've pulled them out of processing, I would let them sit on the counter for 24 hours to cool completely. And in that time, you'll be able to tell, see this one has not popped down yet. I actually just heard this one pop and this one is sealed. So these will seal, there it goes. And this one will seal any minute now. 
but after a day or so, just check the seals, make sure that they are still sealed. And then after that, you can store them in your pantry or any other cool dry place. Um, I would suggest waiting six weeks before eating them. That way the flavor has had a, you know, a plenty of time to really bring out all the, the flavor in it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. See you later.